Hello and welcome back. So let me uh, log in as the admin here. I forgot I was logged out. Okay, great. So we want to start looking at tests. Now the way tests are going to work is something like this. First of all, let's create a controller because so far there is none. Now, let me close the files that are here for a clean setup. Okay, so tests uh, situation is similar to classes. So I'm just going to copy the classes uh, controller. So copy and then new, paste, save this as uh, tests dot php save and then i can change all instances of uh, classes to tests let's see classes is there any other yeah so let's change that to tests okay and so we need a tests model as well so let's see what else we need to change here. Anything that goes with classes, this one as well. Uh, let's change that. Do, do, do. I'm pressing Control D to change to go through all of them. Yeah, and then I'll do tests. See what spelling was that? Okay. Good. And then there's finally class in terms of singular. And I will go through all of them as well and just say test. Okay, so obviously some things here do not apply. So we'll go through the code step by step just to make sure. Now, before we do any of uh, most of these, let's see here. We want to change uh where is this where is this we want to change the view to tests okay so that has changed that's good now we're going to copy the classes uh where is that classes include copy all of it right click new paste save and tests dot uh this is the wrong folder So that one was classes view, so it's tests.view.php because it's not an include file. Okay, so class name, let's change that to test name. And what else do we get? Created by date, that should suffice. Instead of classes here, it should be, uh, let me change that to tests like so. Okay. And then instead of a single class, this should be, um, what should this be actually? A uh, single class should be test yeah so this one should be test like that plus id okay so we'll go through all this uh, code step by step i'm sure there are gazillions of errors here once i do this unexpected identifier on line seven right at the top okay so i changed class as well so that wasn't cool at all okay so test model does not exist obviously that's the biggest one so before we even create the model we need to create a table so let's see here so the idea here is that uh, we're going to have two tables 
one is going to just have the title of the test itself. So if uh, a lecturer creates a test, they're going to say new test, and then it will save a row in the database. And then once they click on that name, then they can start adding questions one by one. Now those questions will be saved in a different table called test questions. Now there are going to be two types of tests. There will be objective and subjective, whereby the objective tests are those that are multiple choice. So you either have multiple choice or you don't. So I'll make it in such a way that uh, even in one test, you can have some questions, multiple choice, others are not. So they just select which one they want to add at the moment. And then once they are done setting up, they save that question. And then they will have to, for those objective questions, they have to set what the answer is. Is it A, B, C, or D? And then they'll have to enter the choices as well. A, B, C, D, and so on. So the thing is with the choices, we don't know. They could go A to F or A to D. Regardless, we need to accommodate those. So we're going to use JSON format here. And then here, we just need one answer. That's it. And then where the question is subjective, we don't need to put an answer because it's up to the student to just give their own answer. And then what happens now is once we have a test title here and then the test questions in this table, then a student will attempt to answer this test. So once they try to answer the test, the answers they give will be put in a different table called answered questions. That way, the original test is untouched. They just copy everything over with a correct or wrong answer. And then when the lecturer comes to mark those questions, we're going to need an extra column to add the actual mark and maybe a comment from the lecturer over that specific question or answer. Okay, so hopefully that is making sense. Now for, to start with, let's create the tests table. Now I may have missed a few columns, so we will add a few columns as we go if need be. So for now, before we create the tables, Let's just create the, actually let's create the model first because we just need to copy a few things. Now I just want to copy from the class model, copy everything, create a new model, paste, save this. Um, and for some reason, uh, my PC has crashed. Okay, so hopefully you can still see uh, this will be tests underscore model dot php save. Okay, great. Yeah, my I had to reset my graphics card there for a second. Okay, so the tests model here, let's uh, let me change this to tests like so. And likewise here as well. And here as well. That's the table. So the allowed columns uh, test and a date make school id so we will need a school id of course we need a class id yeah and also a test id and a user id okay cool and get user is fine we will need that and then validate, we just need to change this validation thingy 
uh, to test. Okay, on the allowed in test name. Okay, good, good, good. And then we have school ID, we have a user ID, we have a class ID, and uh, now the thing is when we're creating a test, the class ID already exists, so this should not be part of it. So here I need to add class ID. Okay, because we will bring it in from outside, we will not generate it. And so we remove that class ID there. Instead, we'll change this to test ID. All righty then, same thing here. Cool, get user is fine. Okay, so that's our model ready to go. Let's come back here and refresh. Okay, so now it's complaining that the table does not exist. Okay, we are making progress. So what we need now is to create the tables. Now let's do that in the next video.